I had hoped for a challenge. Your soul is an open question, Hunter. like that once, centuries ago. I think that's gonna leave a mark. to get on my bad side. The soulless may not be powerful, but they have the numbers to overwhelm you. Don't get cocky. As if the moon... Makes no difference to me. Hell has room for everyone.
rest of us. <laughs> for this. assistance.
technology is a little rusty, but didn't the Hydra originally have nine heads? reaching the end of their onslaught, but don't relax just yet. I was just starting to enjoy myself. they were guilty of to deserve that.
looks as if you've weathered the storm. For now. Hunter, when you get a chance, could you meet me at the chapel? How old is this game? Everybody looks like a block. Oh, this was a huge hit when I was a kid. Trust me, Magic. Tomorrow... Uh, are you just gonna stand there, or are you gonna take a seat? I just... You wanted to see me? You won't believe this, but we did it. Did what? Remember that first account of will and corruption I found in the Book of Thaw? You mean the story of the ancient pharaoh who was struck down with corruption, and the traveling light worker who purified him? That's the one. Of course, I remember. Well, Magic and I finally transcribed the incantation the Lightworker used. And I'm pretty sure we can use it to finally remove your Psycho Mom's corruption over Wanda. I have to say, I am impressed. You mean that? Yes, I do. Thanks, Hunter. Uh, that means a lot coming from you, but before you heap on the praise, there's something I should tell you. <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the reason the Lightworker died was because he had to take on all that dark energy into his body, and he just couldn't handle it. I tried finding a workaround, but all the texts on Chaos Magic said the same thing. Corruption can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere, or to, like, somebody. So, whoever removes it from Wanda will also have to absorb it. I will absorb it. You will? You're not, like, scared you're gonna, like, fall to her darkness? Lilith's darkness cannot corrupt me. Right, because you are just so good and pure that you could never ever fall. Correct. Well, at least you're on board. When is this happening? As soon as we break back into Banner's lab. Oh, and uh, just one more thing, so listen up because it's kind of crucial. I'm gonna need you to memorize the incantation and recite it verbatim when you see Wanda in his lab. It's the only way to subdue her. It goes... <clears throat> Ego sum tenebris et venunt in domum suam iubet dominus. Ego sum tenebris domum domini precepta your. Think you can remember that, Hunter? I can handle anything. That's my favorite resurrected half demon, Demon Hunter. You need to memorize those lines as if your own life depends on it. Because it just might. Remember to study your lines, Hunter, because you do not want to screw this up.
Hunter, I've got a theory. Wanna hear it? My theory is that it's underappreciated work to be an awesome badass loner. I mean, did you see what happened when Blaze read the parchment aloud? That was an act of mad genius. Blaze waited until the last possible moment, then unleashed some of the deadliest magic known to man. You are easily impressed by his theatrics. He would not have been in that position if he had cooperated with us in the first place. Easily impressed? Easily impressed? We'd have all been demon snacks if it wasn't for Blaze. After all that, we still do not have the parchment. Without it, we cannot destroy it. Here's the thing. He's got no one to rely on. It's just him out there, facing this stuff all alone. He's not gonna give us something like the parchment easily. I think we all need to cut him some slack. Maybe we should all adopt his attitude. We are all fighting the same battle. Our backs are against the same wall. Perhaps our civility is holding us back. I wish I could be a genius like him. If we have to be more like Blaze in order to win this war, then so be it. Seeing Blaze in action really solidified some things for me, Hunter. And what is that? I still got a long way to go if I ever want to make my mark as a spirit of vengeance. Then you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just hard to gain that kind of confidence when I'm always left on the sidelines. Anyways, I had to tune up the ride. She really took a beating out in the desert. thinks he's so clever with this demonic barrier, but I promise you, I'm gonna have the last laugh. <sighs> this isn't about one-upmanship, Tony. Just let me focus, and I can get Hunter through the barrier. What's the holdup? Besides your incessant grumbling about Banner in my ear, I haven't yet found a way to properly shield the Hunter to pass through the barrier. Yeah, sure. While you're working on your magic fairy dust, I'll figure out how we get the parchment back here. It's too dangerous to be left out there in the wild. It's not fairy dust. That's all wrong for this job. And if this sanctum was still around, that would have been the perfect place to store the parchment. Well, it's gone, and Banner's still out there taunting me. So let's hurry up and get some answers. While you were on your little fetch quest, I made some breakthroughs on the gamma front. Hunter, do you have a spare gamma accelerator? I'm serious, what kind of ancient hero are you if you don't have the latest experimental gamma technology in your back pocket?
Of course, but I put them in my gamma pants. Sorry. <gasps> you have gamma pants? Jealous! Do you not have other things to be focusing on right now? Well, no, actually. Among other things, I'm trying to figure out how to breach that nasty barrier of go away that Banner managed to throw up around the Hydra Lab. Strange swears up and down that he'll be able to pierce the veil. If he can deliver, great. Otherwise, he should get out of the way, you know? The rivalry between you and Strange is somewhat amusing, but the time for amusements is running out. You need to find a way to work together. Are you kidding me? I love the Doc. Yeah, he's a little stiff, but we're like brothers. I even let him use my beard trimmers. You still feel confident in your plan to destroy the parchment with the accelerator? Well, I've been going over my father's files. He had big plans for this thing. Let's just say I don't think anything would withstand being on the wrong end of it at the wrong time. You believe your father had ill intent for this device? <laughs> he had ill intent for everything. But this, in particular. I think he was trying to find a way to unlock the scientific essence of magic itself. So in a way, it's kind of poetic. I'm gonna use Dad's shady tech to stop Banner's shady treachery. Forget about revenge, Tony. Think about the ways that technology could be used for good. I cannot allow my own vengeance to consume me. Well, I see your point. I don't want to wallow in the muck, stay above it, etc., etc. Look, I'm not getting anything done. I'll tell you what, let's find this Gamma Accelerator, bring Banner back from the dark side, stop your mom, and then we can sit down and have a nice chat. I've got this awesome new juicer back at my place, we can do it there. Juicer? Oh, you'll love it. It would juice your shoes if you let it. In the meantime, back to work. I have a few theories on who sent those soulless after us and Blaze. Seriously, playing this game was invaluable training for becoming a real-life hero. Except there's no Spider-Man in it. And there's no Wolverine either. This was made when we were both free agents. But don't worry, we'll be video game stars one day. Captain America can't jump that high in real 